welcome to Cyber Gamer TV. This is Pan here bringing you the Western Digital Cyber Gamer Invite League. We're in Division 1. I'm doing a catch up game from a uh, VOD. It's Vox Eminor taking on Endzone. I'll, uh, this was a couple weeks ago. I think this was a fourth round in the competition. Uh, they're playing on Inferno. Uh, this is one of the better matches, the tighter matches in the round. Uh, Endzone at this point, I think, had just taken out Team Immunity in uh, somewhat of an upset. Uh, Voxy at the moment. Uh, they play Archaic next round, so they're on a pretty high streak at the moment as well. So we're going to jump straight into this game and see who we got playing. Uh, just resume the VOD, and uh, we're pretty much into the game. Voxy here, uh, playing pretty good in this competition. I'll just bring the volume up just the tiniest bit. Uh, Voxy, uh, we just had the knife off, and uh, Voxy have chosen CT. Uh, end zone right now are... Uh, Choosing what they're going to do on their pistol round for T side. Looks like we're going to have two up second middle and uh, just some basic, basic nading for the window to stop any uh, uh, Voxy players changing. Bit of spotting by Lazy. He's covering base, effectively covering uh, Banana and Middle. There's a four of his teammates go up and carpets into halls. Checks long spot. Nobody there. Nobody anywhere. Oh, he sees one at the very top angle there. Gets a lot of damage on him, but he's eaten quite a bit as well. Does a pre-fry with a breast spray around the corner, but nothing much coming of that. Lazy still not seeing anything yet. And he won't see for quite a while, because Voxy haven't changed position much at all. Trace, of course. That is uh, Psy, the big man. For Voxy. Changing their angle a little bit. Thinking about Banana. Giant now checking uh, the... Haystack area, uh, sorry, the logs area, checking that angle. Still not much going on for them. Thinking about changing over to Banana Bomb site. That's exactly what they're doing. Lazy, oh, his teammate right in front of him, eats a little bit of damage. Lazy checking the corner. Fair bit of damage taken on the bomb carrier there. Checking the car, nothing in the car, makes his way all the way out the top, still nothing. Boomza gets a nade over at Logs, taking down Dave, he was a low HP player, lazy entry into the site, get a, a few shots off before making his way to where Yellow used to be, hiding from the flashes. Tripster now, he's going to watch flower bed angle, Boomza getting another kill, that's two for Boomza defending the bomb site, Tripster is going to go into the uh, construction area, try and get Boomza, no you won't be able to even get to Boomza, oh no he runs around the corner, lazy gets a kill. Lazy gets a kill as uh, Pads rotates in, Demo getting a shot and a knife, and uh, fantastic play. By Demo, there's still one left alive as uh, Godzilla on the mic, not too happy. And uh, Trace taking down Lazy, final player, that is the defuse. And he's still having a bit of a chat. Still having a bit of a chat as I uh, adjust, adjust the volume down a little bit. It's going up. It's going up randomly, the volume. But uh, in-game volume, not, not too loud, to be honest. But uh, I might give it a bit of a bump. For you guys who like to hear the game sounds. Uh, first round, of course, going to uh, Voxy. As this demo is just... The, yeah, it's the actual demo is lagging a little bit here. That's unfortunate. And uh, Endzone making their way through... Uh, straight up the middle, straight up the mid wall. Going jungle and uh, diggity angle. Pads getting one kill. Demo getting another. Nice, pretty standard crossfire, but a nice crossfire from the boys. Booms are getting a frag over at the banana bomb site. And pushing out, in fact, to see if he can get another. He sees one at the edge there at the top of the stairs. Shoots his teammate as his teammate runs across. Sai, it was. Managed to get that kill. Last player left alive for the terrace is Tripstar. He's only got that Glock and he gets demolished by Case Drive. So, counter terrorist now. No bomb plant. But uh, they're still going to buy. The AKs are a lot cheaper for the Ts. As uh, there appears to be a bit of humming in my headset. I hope that's not coming through to you guys. But, uh, yep, this is a buy around for them. The guns are a lot cheaper for the for the T, so we'll see what they're gonna do in their first gun round for the game. Voxy probably gonna do pretty much the same thing. Looks like he's prepping for a nade up to the window. Yeah, he, did. he actually got it nicely into the room. Most people usually bugger that one up. Case are throwing a nade at the end of the hall just in case there's a rush. Booms are getting himself another early frag over the banana. That's that's one each round now. Early frags by Boomza. Leading by example for his team of Vox Eminor. Not much play going on at the carpets. Boomster and his teammate over the other bomb site holding. K Strife holding top of carpets. Demo Jr. He's watching. Uh, he's watching his own area. K Strife pumps straight into carpets. He's heard noise. He's seen two kills. One. Demo Jr. Still holding from library, holding that bomb site angle. Sai and Boomster still holding their angle. Godzilla, great kill onto K Strife in the uh, the graveyard area. 
but Giant and Dave are now making their way over towards the uh, banana bomb site. Checks the uh, concrete stacks, nobody's there. He's going to check Coil's angle now as they rotate into sight. Flash over the top of Coil's around the back. He's seen one at the back of the site. He's going to move straight up, try and get the shot, gets it, nails him. Booms are down. Dave now coming in, checking flower bed. Eats a flash, goes for the plan. His teammate's backing him up, chasing on whoever threw that flash. Dimo Jr. now prepping to throw a flash of his own for his teammate as he comes around the flower bed. Nades go off size, first one around the corner. He's going to go past Coil, sees one in the back of the site, goes for a shot. Dimo Jr. shooting at someone he can't hit because of the pole. They're both doing a lot of shots here, but not getting any kills. Dave and Giant getting uh, pads and trace, which is Sai. And, uh, well, ultimately, Sai and Dimo Jr. just not doing anything there. They could have done a lot more, and they should have done a lot more. I think uh, the big man Booms is going to be a little bit disappointed in the performance of those two guys. But, uh, oh well. Oh well, it happens. But uh, not the round you want to lose. You, there was, you know, they got the pistol, they want to get the steamroll, they want to get that gun round, and oh my god, this demo's considerably laggy. Uh, but they want to get that roll on and uh, really, oh no, it's just a couple of players, really uh, screw, screw Endzone out of their money. But uh, unfortunately for them, they've actually given Endzone a chance to answer back here, and frankly, it's pretty likely at this point. Booms are now concerned about, hey, I'd say he probably just heard that. Yeah, and now he's heard his shooting in the wall. He knows there's one definitely there. They're still doing their eco stack over the B-bomb side. I think Booms is thinking about joining them now. No, no, it's just changing angle for jungle. Probably may well walk into a headshot here. Oh, sees one at the edge. Makes his way back. Godzilla, Giant and Dave now still testing that mid-wall. Not much going on there, so they decided to rotate. Looks like we're going to be seeing a rotate. I'm going to watch Dave. He's got the bomb. Making their way up end zone, up the banana, towards the B, or the A bomb site for Counter Strike Stores. Traditionally the B bomb site. But uh, end zone, still making their way up. Dave with the bomb, going to throw the flash in. Here comes the onslaught straight into the bomb site, but they're going to walk into the Ecos of Voxy. We'll see what they've got. Makes his way to where Yellow used to be as the flash comes through. That's a pretty safe spot for people usually. Pads gets one kill, and another answer back uh, by Tripster and Lazy. They put it in front by one. They've even it up again, but Dave's in front. Booms are here coming up. It's a two-on-one situation. Booms are with the USP hiding in the smoke. Trying to get himself a good angle here to try and get him out. Bomb's been planted, so at the end of the round, it's a win no matter what for end zone, but Boomser goes down. And, uh, well, only two players left alone. Booms almost got himself another frag. So, on the eco round, Vox Eminor costing quite a lot of money for Endzone. Uh, got a little bit of tip for Tad. It's two for two now. Endzone bring themselves on top here. But, uh, of course, we would, should see uh, a pretty decent... I mean, it might be a deco or a full buy here from uh, Voxy. Looks like it's a deco. They potentially could have bought, but I think they're playing a little... Uh, a little more solid economical game, not a desperate game. Again, pretty standard start for Enzo in the start here. They, they toy a little bit with the, uh, the window room here, put a little aggression on it so they can claim it for themselves, get a little bit more information. And uh, that seems to be their pretty standard opening thus far. Must be just a default they do when uh, they don't have information. This is their, the way that they gather the information to get themselves a bit of map territory. Godzilla's still playing out that boiler. Giant throws a flash. Uh, probably a fake flash, and I think it might have been a smoke there, to uh, check the jungle angle. Nothing much going on there, so Godzilla's going to check the top of carpets. He will walk in, if he does decide to walk it, into to, uh, two players, K-Strife and Pads, playing on that balcony angle. I'd say a boost is going up on top of that door at the moment. They may be taking a little bit longer than usual to do it, but it looks like they're going to hit Diggity. Giants into the side, Dave's with him. Godzilla's going to back up now, flash over towards the pit. Dave, Godzilla going through the pit. Pads gets a kill. Godzilla walks into K-Strife, so that setup did not work at all. Dimo Jr. also going down, so the entire bomb site has been cleaned up totally by uh, end zone. And last play left alive here, booms it with the Deagle. They're, uh, well, they weren't able to get any sneaky kills. They weren't able to get anything going on there in end zone. Giant takes down Voxy Boomser. And, uh, well, that was a terrible deco at the end of it. You know, pretty terrible deco. I'm just going to uh, turn off the voice just in case they, they say something a little bit crude. Might be a bit too late there. But <laughs> nevertheless, 3-2 is a score. Voxy now, they played uh, their money pretty well. So now they've got themselves a buy round as well. End zone on Archaic. Uh, nice little angle here by Dave to play the window angle where he can't particularly be seen. You can see the muzzle flash though. Lazy now, he's going to check carpets, walk straight into that nade. They've heard that too. Smoke goes off only for the intention of slowing Lazy down and he's pushed through the carpets. In fact, they're playing pretty aggressively here to slow down those carpets. 
uh, pads and case drive there using their nades pretty early on in the round and taking lazy to about 54 HP. Eating a little bit of his armor as well. So uh, that seems to have, if their goal was simply to slow down and do a little bit of free damage without any contact, uh, that's what they've achieved. Booms are still playing in sight, relatively solo. His teammate's in the rotate position. Trips is watching with the AWP, he's not going to see Boomza. Booms is just worried about the, uh, the logs boost. Which is going to work out for him. Right now we got... Is that two players walking jungle? Yes, it, it is. Demo Jr. playing from the library. They've decided to go back. They're throwing that smoke up and they're not even going to use the smoke. It's effectively a fake. Case Drive throwing the flash out. Checks the top. I think he's, he's eating a flash there as well. Case Drive still playing from the pit. He's playing behind Circular. Managed to get one kill. Teammate with him in the pit. They're pretty safe from flashes here. Godzilla getting one. Demo Jr. Case Drive getting another each. Mixing it up, Dimo Jr. with the second one as he jumps up on up on the chair. Dimo Jr. in the site now, playing from the high angle. Tripster takes him down. Tripster's going to line up Case Drive here if he peeks out. Tripster throws the flash, goes for the plant. Booms is around the corner. He's going to jump straight in and smash him in the face. And yes, he does. In the chest, in fact. 3-3 three, three is the score. 3 all. And uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, uh, in Counter-Strike, if we have teams going tit for tat all the way through, which is effectively what's happened here early on, we're likely to see gun rounds pretty much every round, or at least close to a gun round. That's just how the game works out. When you start winning those rounds, you can uh, sort of repeatedly buy. So if we do get a tip attack going on, this game can go on for ages with gun round after gun round. Could basically be like Call of Duty, <laughs> uh, which can be kind of exciting in Counter-Strike to have the gun rounds every round. It does take out the economic play a little bit, but you can warp a little bit. As uh, trips to... Oh, we saw someone move their way over to... to uh, over to the uh, concrete sandbags in the corner there, and I'm not... Oh, gets one shot, the player who was around the corner there uh, peeks out to have a shot, he eats half of that one, and Tripster gets him down as well. The B bomb site, the A bomb site, sorry for Source, the Ponda bomb site, banana site, is fully clear out now. Tripster 13 HP is the man doing the onslaught, and I'm pretty sure he just got nailed there, as a giant takes down case drive. So this bomb site's pretty safe, except for the fact Dimo Jr's got the off. He's missed two shots at Dimo Jr, and usually does not miss, but ends his back with a blind one. Jumps up on the haystack. Smoke's not quite in the right position. If there was someone there, he could have got him. But Dimo Jr. turns around too slow. Giants got him in the back. The rotate. Chose the wrong angle. And Pads, last man left alive, is going to try and save this cult in their lost round. As, uh, like I said, if we are going tip for tat, we're going to have buy rounds every... Pretty much a, a potential buy round every round. So our Pads going to make most of the economy and ensure that they can buy as often as possible. Enzo, I'm pretty confident right now that nobody's come up for them, so they're going to be hunting down. They've cleared construction, they've cleared this side, they're clearing banana now as well. Actually, banana's the only bomb site. They've actually done a team, a team rotate out of the bomb site there, team retreat, because they're a bit scared of pads. Which is pretty justified fear, to be honest. Pretty justified fear. Uh, so, right now, Vox MNR contemplating the buy. Oh, jeez, the sensitivity. One player still sitting in spawn, not doing much, is Boomza. The big man, he's coming around the corner from behind Pads. Gonna back him up with a pistol, it seems. This Pads being pretty aggressive. Flash goes behind Pads. Can Pads hide behind the logs? Nope, Pads just keeps pushing. Keeps pushing straight up. I'm not sure if he'll be able to catch anybody off guard here. Flash goes around the corner. Yeah, they're convinced. Oh no! They're more concerned about Boomza at the top. Pads gonna play this pretty well, get himself a guaranteed kill. Go for the double. Yes, he does! Gets it as well. Area cleared. Pad's getting a double. Case drive with a deagle at the top of carpets. Yeah, it was indeed. He's on the balcony now. He's got two teammates backing him up. Still holding the balcony angle. He's going to come out looking straight at Case drive. Takes him down. Dimo Jane Jr. holding from underneath. But when they rotate down, gets one easy kill. Picks up the AK. Last player left alive in the halls is Dave. It's a four on one. Three immediate vicinity. And uh, wow, my voice sounded weird there. 33 HP. End zone. Dave, gonna make pretty much impossible clutch. I'm very confident Voxy will take out this round, but he might be able to get a sneaky kill in the back of the header. A player was rotating. No, he doesn't. Rotates off just a little bit too quick. Demo Jr.'s got to know he's there. Just waiting for the shot. Runs in. Could have got a shot on Sai, but Sai takes him down. And uh, for a piece, we, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. We are going tit for tat in this game. And let's have a look at end zone. What are they going to play this round? Deagle round. Deagle eco. Obviously, want to use their orbs. Tripster with the orbs seems to be working out pretty well for them. Oh, jeez, those guys. 
their ping. Yeah. Pings weren't so good in this game. But to, oh, lots of deagles, aggressive deagle run up, up the banana, takes down Booms are easy, who was frankly being a little bit aggressive. Tripster though, he's got that AWP. Tripster's got the AWP. He's got the one thing he wanted. But uh, Giant gets one shot, Tripster uses that AWP to great effect as Demo Junior gets himself a double. Uh, one post-mortem. Pads rotating through the banana bomb site right now. K-Strife playing from the back of the truck. Going to jump up and make his way through construction most likely. But uh, that smoke's going to deter him. Tripster getting one easy kill and Godzilla from the back of sight. Smashes him in the face, takes him down. A planner of the bomb. Finishes up the round. So 4-5 is the score. A 5 in favour of Enzone. This is a DE Inferno. Enzone sponsored by Lappy King. And Voxy uh, partnered by quite a few teams. You can catch him out on voxemanor.com. So it looks like Enzone are pretty much going to do that kind of default. They'd be wary of wary of that uh, window. Trips is going to play his orb. Wary of that window and try and control it. Control that room. Own that room. Get as much information. This is their information gathering with Trips to playing with the orb. This is pretty standard. I've seen Godzilla do exactly this every round. He's a little bit of a robot. A little bit of a robot with this play. But that means that they are rehearsed. They aren't half assing this season. They're playing it pretty seriously. Yep, Godzilla doing his pretty standard peaks, and now he's gonna check jungle to help his team out. Now he's gonna go. Is he gonna go to the top or he's gonna leave that to lazy? Looks like he's gonna leave it to lazy. Nades are going out to uh, clear that jungle area. Teammate comes out, giant, going for diggity. This is gonna be their diggity onslaught right now. Smoke goes over towards the truck. Flash goes over the pit. Demo Jr. getting the first frag as they rotate into the bomb site right now. K Strife getting another. Top of. Oh my god, he didn't get that kill. Still hasn't got that kill! Still hasn't got the kill. Player at Graveyard's mopping them up, getting kills everywhere. Oh my god. How unfortunate for Godzilla there, watching for the full round and, uh. Well, he must have, he must have only just been missing the head. We saw the blood spray. We saw a lot of damage going off, but unfortunately, he was just not. Just not, uh, getting himself that kill. He needed that one too, so he's got to be pretty upset with himself for that one. As uh, Voxy now, looks like they're a fair bit more concerned with the B-bomb side here. A little bit different than usual. A little bit different positioning for them, and Endzone as well, not doing the window chase as much. They're usually pretty concerned with their window play. And uh, unfortunately not seeing anything going on there. Trips is still playing that banana angle, but ultimately looks like we're going to be hitting the uh, B-bomb side. It's a run straight up jungle right now. Get one kill. Another kill by Godzilla. Case drive takes down Giant. Lazy walks into the edge of the wall as he's contemplating about going to CT spawn. Nothing going on there. Teammates rotating through right now. Demo Jr. playing from the graveyard. Finally, though, Lazy takes him down. He's not going to survive much longer as Trips gets another kill on the rotate. Boomza from the banana. Last man left alive. He's probably going to go for this one. It is tied up. At the very least, Booms is going to want exit frags. But I can see Booms is on the hunt here. He thinks he can do it. Five apiece. Potential danger here as he lets him run away. No, nah, Booms decided too many angles, too many choices. He's going to run back and uh, if he's lucky, get himself an entry frag, uh, an exit frag, sorry. I did think it was a bit ballsy of Booms to run in there and uh, once he decided that it wasn't, he didn't walk in and get an easy frag, he's decided, you know what, I'll play this safe. I'll fall back, I'll save this weapon. And, uh, yeah, Anzone, pretty well rehearsed, to be honest. Yeah, Boom's not going to be hiding in there, he's not that dumb. But, uh, pretty well rehearsed, to be honest. They're doing a lot of things pretty smoothly as you expect a, a well-structured team to do. They seem to be playing pretty seriously now, which is good to see. And, uh, again, everybody's playing in the same position, so we'll see... Oh, it looks like, looks like there's definitely a banana attack because they're not doing their standard default. Basically, anything that isn't that default is uh, a wet, an attack over towards the a bomb site right now. There's two in the back of sight, though. They haven't seen either of them. Smoke. Smoke's not going to help him as Boomza runs out, gets himself the first frag, takes down uh, Giant. Boomza also getting another one before he gets another one as well. I thought he was going to die there. Trace, though, gets taken down. Timo Jr. rotating in at the right time as well. Trips are right now. Convinced there's one in that yellow area. He was right. Takes down Demo Jr. Looking at the back side, trying to find Boomset. Will they get him? Yes, he does. But Case drive to rotate through the back. Gets him. Takes him down. Picks up Demo Jr.'s AWP there to help him out with that bombsite play. And, well, Voxy wrap it up. And again, we are tit for tat. Tit for tat. Tit for tat. As uh, 
Voxy looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with Voxy's play. They should be happy with their play as well. As should end zone. But uh, lots of deaths going either way in each of these rounds thus far. It's pretty exciting trying to see who's going to get themselves a little advantage, trying to get two or three in a row. For the first time in ages, Pads is in that window room. There they spam every single round. God, where is Godzilla? There we go. Godzilla, he's a player who plays the angle. Let's see if he can take down Pads in this room. Oh no, Pads destroys him! Pads, oh my. Man, it doesn't matter how well you've rehearsed that Godzilla. If Pads is in that room, you die. Now Pads rotates himself back. He's going to play on top of that door. But uh, frankly, I'm not quite sure they're going to attack the B-bomb side here. Uh, actually, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Looks like they're, they're prepping for a flash over the... Uh... Oh, excuse me. He's prepping for the flash. No, he's changed his mind. Trips is walking his way up, checking the sandbags. See nothing behind there. Well, it's not sandbags, it's concrete. But uh, we call it the sandbags. Checking the angle towards where the uh, players normally are or rotate. Here we go, rotating back over the B. Dave's got the bomb, he's hitting it up. Teammates over there, probably going to try and sell a fake. While Trips to here is going to be the entry man for Vox M and all. Sees no one at Coils. Frankly, we haven't seen anybody from Voxy play at Coils at all. Voxy takes down the uh, faker player. Player doing the fake. Booms, it gets one. Trips are right now trying to find out where Booms is. Booms has been causing so much havoc up in this bomb site here. Dave also going down. Trips is still hiding behind the near the barbecue. Takes down Booms. Finally, they needed to get that one. Will they get a second? No, he doesn't. Sai jumps out in just the right spot. Unfortunately for him, he did jump right in the face of Tripster, but uh, Tripster missed that shot, so Voxy get himself another round. 7-6 is the score in this half. Two to go in the first half here. And uh, pretty exciting, really. Tight all the way through. It's usually one or two people remaining in a 2-on-1 uh, a -on or a 1-on-1 -on -one situation. So we'll see what they do on the pistol. Looks like they're going to go pretty aggressive here. Lots of pre-flashes coming up around the corner. Dimo Jr. goes for a shot out the window, doesn't get it, but he's definitely called the rush for his teammates here. He walks out of Boiler. He had to have known that was coming. He had to have known that was coming. Boons is going to wrap the bum. Trips is coming out. Pads gets himself a double nade. Case Drive and Pads teaming up together to get two in quick succession. Boons are wrapping around the back. It's Case Drive. Where was Case Drive? Oh, God. They rushed in so fast. Didn't do anything. The only reason that Voxy had a death there is because Dimo just did a bit of poor decision making, I think. Uh, he saw a rush was on and decided to rotate out the area that they were most likely to run through. Oh, excuse me, I guess he was thinking that, you know, maybe they'll go, maybe they'll just keep going up carpet, up the halls and up to uh, the bomb site. There's a little bit of lag there, so Jimmo Jr. is struggling to hit that shot. But uh, yet, yeah, Dimo made the bad decision last round. Makes a good decision this time, misses his first shot and runs away. Godzilla's gonna do the standard window play. There's nobody in this window this time. It seems to be very stock standard. You see him do a little pre-fire in the corner. He'll walk out and he'll pre-fire the boiler angle. He'll even shoot before he even sees it. But uh, yeah, he's, he's pretty well rehearsed to just doing this. So unfortunately for him, that isn't the optimal way to do it. I mean, he is checking each thing, but it's not the best way to do it. But unfortunately, I can't help him yet. 8-6 is the score. They're going to try and get this to within run, one round for the half. This is the final round of the half. I'm, I'm going to predict an 8-7, but uh, with these guys hanging over to the banana bomb side, it might be different. Giant runs straight into the bomb side, takes down Sai. First one kill, runs straight around, takes down Boom, so it looks like this could be 8-7. Foxy right now. Godzilla is still playing a little bit of a fake here, but ultimately he's just trying to get a re get the rotators, and he does. He takes down pads. Uh, Case Drive and Dimo Jr. last one's left alive. Two new guys for Voxy. Case Drive, watch the angle, takes down one, takes down Tripster. Great play by him. One in the back of the side, Dimo Jr. takes him down. Takes down Godzilla, sorry who was uh, watching the rotators. Dimo Jr. now, 2-1-1 on situation. 3-on-1 on situation, sorry. I can't see him doing this with an AWP in short range. 8-7 is the score as Giant takes him down. So half-time fantastic play by both teams. And a, a good side take there, playing the aggression. Playing the aggression pretty well. By the way, guys, while we're in this half-time break, any feedback you have for the stream, anything you'd like me to do, I am uh, contemplating the different ways I can change the score in the top right. And uh, make that a little bit bigger for you guys. i just just messing with it today. It's not quite right, but it is a little bit better. Time for the rounds, a little bit bigger as well. If you have any feedback on things you'd like us to change things, we could do something you know. You can send an email off to uh, craig at cybergamer.com.au and uh, I'll see what I can do. First round for Foxy, pretty aggressive and it's hugely out of character. Team kill, Giant taking down Godzilla. There goes his money for the next round. Giant gets another kill and will he get the final kill as he lags over the thing? Pulls out the pistol, not able to do anything. Lazy's rotated pretty quickly. 
And uh, last play on the bomb side's got that, uh, well, bugger all help, but he does have the bomb. Lazy should, a tripster should take him down pretty easily. Trace now coming around the corner, gets one, sees one of the... No, he didn't see one. Wow, this lag is... Laggy, laggy, HLTV's a, a little bit shoddy. I'll have to uh, talk to Cyber Gamer about that one. But uh, Cy, walking slowly into side. Basically what Cy wants to do is get this bomb down. If Cy can get that bomb down, it's not the perfect pistol round, but it's pretty successful. In fact, Lazy's going the wrong way. That's going to buy Cy some time. He's so far away right now. He is going to go to rotate through CT, and Cy should be ready for this. Foxy might be able to get this pistol if Cy plays it well. Lazy right now coming past the well, making his way past the truck. Will Lazy decide to go construction? No, he doesn't. So Sai should have the upper hand here. He knows he's gone past. Sai makes noise as he comes around the side. He knows it behind the smoke there. He should know the angle here, Sai. He planted it. And loses the duel. Sai a little bit too aggressive there. He knew where he planted the bomb. If he didn't see him there, shouldn't have done it. But, uh, well, he bought himself enough time because I can't hear the game sounds loud enough. I hope it's loud enough for you guys on the stream. Again. Let me know. Let me know with that one. But uh, Boxy take out the pistol with frankly uncharacteristic aggression. Uh, but that's the point of Boxy. They're going to mix it up. You can't do the same thing over and over. Just like StarCraft 2, if you keep doing the same rigid thing, someone's going to crack it and uh, cheese the crap out of you and counter what you're doing. It is Counter-Strike after all. So uh, Godzilla playing the uh, banana angle, doing a first little bit of damage. Nades come up. That's Voxy claiming the banana. It's now theirs. Pads is going to back it up with his teammates. They've decided to go just uh, straight to MP5 for the second round. Oh, sorry, straight to submachine guns, SMGs, for Voxy this round. Pretty much just a, an anti-eco style round. Lots of damage. This battle, this battle over the top here, not much is getting achieved from it. There's been a little bit. Oh, finally, Godzilla eats a little bit of blood, but he's seen two players. There are three... Oh, Voxy, too smart. They must have known there was a stack there. They had to have gotten information. I wasn't seeing the Voxy perspective. They've, uh, geez, they've made, got the information. They've made the decision. It's the right decision. Let's see how well it pans out for them as they rotate into the B-bomb site right now. Trace getting the first frag and the second. Bomb site's clear. It's pretty, it happened too quick. It happened too quick. Timo Jr. getting the first one from the pit there. Sai so playing the main angle right now. Godzilla coming across mid-wall. I think Timo Jr. may well be the first one to uh, exchange with him. No, it's going to be Sai. Sai's so going to run up. Booms around the back, though. I'm not, I have noticed, I have noticed in these few games, by the way, it's 2-0 if you can't read. Uh, I have noticed in these few games that Booms is always playing the backup player, the player who sits at the back, catches the rotators. Uh, well, some people like to call it the last alive position, but for, I, guess that's, I guess that's a fair way to call it. <laughs> uh, and yeah, Booms is, is sitting back, he's letting his team win the game, he's letting them do it with their own knowledge, as we see a little bit more banana aggression from uh, Voxy. He's letting his teammates do the damage. He's not doing it all by himself. He's letting them learn. Oh, Dimo Jr. I don't know if that binked his teammate. No, I didn't. Booms has only lost a little bit of health there. Looks like they're going pretty aggressive in the bomb site right now. Flashes go off to slow them down. Booms of those made his way around the back of construction. And he's made what? Oh, Dave's hiding smartly. Yeah. Oh, only the one shot in the back of Booms. And Booms is in trouble. Can he escape of this duel with end zones, Dave? His teammate there is helping him out. Flash does nothing. Smoke helps. Will ultimately just help Boomser escape as Godzilla gets himself a deagle frag from the banana. Lazy is also hanging out there. Dave and Giant in the construction area. Godzilla gets himself another frag from the banana. He's going to rotate himself around the corner. Trace is hiding in the back. Timo Jr. is going to get shot in the back right about now. No, he's not because Dave held off. Dave, uh, Dave, Dave held off. What are you doing, Dave? Mate, he was looking the other way. Anyway, 3-0 in this half, Vox Eminor over Endzone. <laughs> oh, little mistakes that they don't know about. Hopefully uh, they watch this one and they go, oh, you know what? Should have been more aggressive. Oh, well, Endzone. They need to get themselves first round on the board. Hopefully this uh, buy round will be the first one for them. Voxy doing something different each round. They don't seem to have a default going on here. They've got a little bit, you know, they thought this one out. They know a little bit about Inferno. It was their weak, I think their weakest, or one of their weaker maps when Voxy was formed in their first couple of competitions versus uh, Arcade, they, they didn't put a good enough performance in. Well, they felt anyway. They've, they have claimed for quite a while it's a worst map. So, uh, we'll see what they can do now. Here we go, there's going to be an onslaught. It looks like they're going to split the mid wall, Diggity and Jungle. Day throwing a bit of damage on. Looks like Jungle's mostly the focus. Are they going to be rotating? 
Rotating around the side, Giant pushes straight in, takes down uh, pads. Booms is trying to catch one out on the balcony. He's choosing between the grenade and the gun. He couldn't make the decision in time. Case drive for last one left alive. 29 HP trying to figure out where he's in the pit. Sorry, Demo Jr. is with him as well. Case drive going to try and get this plant down on the edge of the haystack. Two on two situation, I think. Orb shot goes off. Trips is playing from that library area. One player's walking up the halls. Whoa, no, K Strife, I'm not able to get him in the back, so Demo Jr. hiding in the back of the side here. Takes down Trip. No, he does take down Trip, sir. I really thought that was going to be an easy kill for him. Yes, he does, eventually. Top of the carpets. Getting the reload. Trying to buy a little bit of time. Shoots a little bit while he jumps in the air. Misses all of those shots. Big flash comes over the top. Tries to rotate in the side, but no, Demo Jr. gets flashed behind the back. It's only a half flash. Demo Jr. wins the round. 4 0 for Voxy. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. 4-0 for Vox Eminor. Bringing us to, uh, what is that, 12-7? I don't know. Let's have a look. God, I got a terrible memory. Why isn't that showing? Why isn't that showing? Oh, I'm terrible. I'm a terrible human being. I'm not bringing you good enough coverage, guys. I'm not bringing you good enough coverage. Voxy right now, looks like they're playing a little bit more focused towards the B-bomb site. Bomb's still hanging around the hay area. They're still uh, a sigh with the bomb there. Buying a bit of time. Enzo's pushed up pretty aggressive. Lazy, not, not... I haven't seen much out of Lazy, to be honest. I want to see more from Lazy. I want to see you get some frags. Do something awesome, Lazy. Do something good. And if he's sneaky here, he can do something good, but it's likely he's going to get smashed. He's like, well, he's at least got given information for his teammates, so he's got to be happy with that. And he's going to sneak up behind Boxy. One! Will he get two? No, he doesn't. Ultimately, still pretty good. Still pretty good. At least got the comms out and got himself a nice headshot. One for one exchange, that's all you can ask. That's all you can ask. Godzilla rotating through the carpets. Case drive right on... Oh, no, he's going to go back to Boiler and he's probably going to get taken out if he decides to run that angle. Tripster and Godzilla thinking about it. Godzilla's changed his mind once again. Topsy-turvy, topsy-turvy goes back. He's going to go off the top of the carpets right now. He's going to try and wait and time this one with his teammates. Godzilla there, Tripster as well. No. Nah. Waiting for the exits. Godzilla struggling to make up his mind here. As k gets one for... Godzilla walks straight up with the deagle. And uh, gets taken down there. Gets taken down there on a, an awkward angle. But k wins the round. k you monster. Great finish for the round. 13-7. There we go. That's the score. 13-7. So it was right. It was 12. So fantastic. 13-7 is the score now. Only three remaining for Voxy to take this one out. And Zone have been playing pretty good. Their CT side, just not up to scratch, really. They shouldn't have lost that round. They should have done, well, yeah, they were going to lose that round. But they should have done uh, exits or, or what they did. I mean, he got that kill, but that's all he got. That's all he was ever going to get. Case Drive takes down Tripster to start off this round over at the B-bomb site. Pads playing angle. He knows there is at least one at the top, and it is indeed Giant. Giant throws that one into the bedroom, which, uh, you know, not going to scare Pads at all. In fact, unlikely to scare any T if you throw it into the room. It's more likely for a CT to be in that room. Pads now making his way up the side as his teammates come up to Diggity as well. See if they can get these angles timed out well. Lazy's right at the haystack to the left of the uh, Pads there. Pads going to jump into the pit, eats a huge flash, falls right down, moving around, eating a lot of damage. Lazy gets one, Lazy gets two, Giant gets one as well. Giant gets taken down by K-Strike. K-Strike gets himself another one, that's two. Four kills in a row for K-Strike at this bomb site over the last two rounds. Lazy getting himself a rag. Lazy, can he win this round here for his team? No, he doesn't. K-Strike getting his third frag. This round in the bomb site has a bomb, 93 HP. Case Drive taking on Godzilla. And Godzilla had a lot of indecision last round, and ultimately, while he got a frag, it was not the right decision. So, what's he going to do this round? No, he's not going to be facing the right way. And Case Drive takes him down four kills in that round. 14 7 Case Drive. Fantastic play. Give yourself a pat on the back. The Wandy, the WA player, managed to take it down. 14 7. In fact, if, if we did have a state of origin and WA team stayed together, geez. They'd be a pretty strong team. You got Damon Rider, Steve, Sponge, Case Drive, Sniper, Killer. WA would have a, probably the best state team, actually. Anyway, Voxy, 6 0 up in the second half. Looking pretty good here with this huge aggression. Huge, oh, they're so outnumbered here. It's up to Godzilla and Tripster, and Godzilla, the man of indecision. He's contemplating all his teammates. His teammate can't decide whether to rotate or not, and he's decided to, Dave. Made his way into the bomb site. Booms is leading in, gets smashed by Godzilla. Great play by him. Lots of damage eaten up by the teammate in front of Sai. They decide to fall back and retreat. Will they catch out the rotator here? Oh, lazy hiding at the bench. 
Sai checks it and kill, gets a kill. Lots of reflex action by Voxy there. Godzilla now going to rotate. Should rotate in time here to force off this battle as Voxy aren't going quite as fast as they could. Big flash around the corner. It slows down Pads, but will it slow down the rest of Voxy? No, it doesn't. Dave! Dave teams up with Giant to get himself two kills. Three if you include Giant's one. Giant with a pistol here trying to take down Sai. No, he won't take down Sai. Sai on the bomb side. Last man left alive. Four Voxy, two left alive. Four end zone. Tripster, more concerned about jungle. He's going to get shot in the side of the head. No, he turns at just the right time, Sai. Oh, wow. This, there is a lot of luck in this game, I'll tell you that. The amount of times that people pull out an aid as they round a corner. The amount of times that one person looks away, could get shot in the back of the head by Sai. Sai decides to check the library, gets shot in the back of the head by the guy who's looking the wrong way. Lots of luck in this game, and uh, this time, went in the favour of end zone. This could be the only round that they needed to get themselves into it. Or at least get their confidence up to play it uh, a little bit more aggressively, play it a little bit smarter as well, manage that money. Dimo Jr. looks like he's going to try and get himself into that window. Luckily for him, nobody's in it. Nobody's really playing too aggressively at halls at all. We'll see what Lazy's doing at the top of carpets. Pads is looking up towards Lazy. Lazy peeks out at just the right time to have a bit of a shot off on Pads. Sees the of Pads once again. Not much going on there. It's a battle of nothings. As Dimo Jr. barely takes down Giant in the boiler room. And here we go, straight around Diggity Corner right now. Lazy's the man in the action. Thro oh! He buggered that up. Uh, he buggered that up pretty bad. <laughs> he buggered that up pretty bad. So we're still waiting for something from Lazy as the bomb gets planted. Tripster running away, hiding his weapon. Godzilla's already leagues ahead of him. So uh, looks like they're going to be going for the save here. And uh, oh, Lazy, how unfortunate. I mean, if this wasn't a laggy demo, you could say all sorts about you, buddy. But, uh, you know, there is a lot of luck in this game. The times when people try to peek, the times when people try to look away. So what happens in these fast-paced action games. One wrong decision. It looks like Booms is going to get the closest one to hunting anyone. Tripster, though, managed to get himself two frags playing from that palm tree. You sneaky, sneaky bugger. I think Booms was underestimating the sneaky, sir. As uh, Godzilla saves his cult. Tripster as well, saving his weapon. So uh, end zone here, 7-1. One. one round left for Voxy to win. One round for Voxy. One round for Voxy, but uh, Endzone. Endzone, they got themselves some weapons, and we've been saying all along, Endzone are not bad players. I, I think it's entirely likely that Endzone's going to win this round. I wish I knew what the score was. Uh, finish this game. So it looks like he's going to throw that nade. It's a bit of a speculator, and it does a huge amount of damage. See those health bars? On the minimap there. Oh, he sees one coming towards him. Trips a good time to back up. Gets himself one frag. Goes for the second. Yes, he will. He should get this third one. No, he doesn't. Sai smashes him. And, uh, well, that nade coming with a great effect. Trips are there getting himself some easy frags. Relatively easy frags. Giant hiding in the corner. Will he get himself a frag as well? Yes, he does. One shot with a deagle. Goes for the second. Booms it. Takes him down, though. K-Strap trying to hide in. K-Strap with a good reflex shot. Taking down Lazy, who once again gets to do nothing. Godzilla now rotating up the mid wall. That bomb's just sitting. In the back corner of the bomb site. Common boost spot. Godzilla wants to take down Boomster, throws a nade, doesn't get him. Boomster going back up halls. Dave, right now playing from the library. Eats a nade. Checks that angle towards bomb site. Not much going on for him. His teammate Godzilla's trying to get people as they rotate out. Don't know about that. Bomb has now been planted. They picked it up. Oh, Dave, easy kills, two easy kills. Wraps up the round. All of that indecision, all that patience. Indecision by Voxy, patience by Endzone. Dave peeks out, two easy kills. 15-9 is the score. Endzone, back in. Bomb point was down for Voxy though, so they'll buy again for sure. Every round can potentially be the last round, so Voxy trying to shut this one out. Trying to get themselves a 16-9 scoreline, but frankly, Endzone haven't really learned how to quit yet. They started off reasonably horribly. They lost basically their first two... Oh, well, they lost the pistol and then their first two chances after that. Oh, Jesus, the, the lag's a little bit silly. But uh, end zone. End zone need to get themselves every round from here on out to bring it to overtime and hopefully win the round. Lazy taking a bit of damage in that boiler. Again, doing nothing. Gets himself a deagle kill, though. Takes down pads. Lazy, you've won the respect back once again. 
20 HP left, he takes down pads. If he let pads run through there, that would have gone rampant. That would have been horrible. It looks like we're going to go into the banana bomb site. Flash comes from the player playing a palm tree. I think it was Tripster. Yes, it was. Tripster peeks out now with his Colt. Getting a little bit more confident. Case drive. Big deagle kill. These flashing timings are great for, uh, for Voxy. It's making it hard for Intern to choose when to peek out. But, oh, Tripster walks down and gets smashed by Trace. Case drive watching it pretty, pretty protectively right now. In fact... Vox here are a little bit bunched up. They're all sort of in the same area. This could work in the favor of Endzone if they get the nice rotate going on there. Dave, sorry, Giant getting his first frag for the round. Dave now pushing around the coils angle. Giant's going to watch the back angle, gets another one. Dave finishes him off and Endzone with another fantastic retake. But if we're being honest, Voxy were all sort of in the same spot. It was a silly position. You want to put it so that, uh, you know, for the end zone guys to kill any one of your players they have to be in the firing range of at least two of them you know make it a little bit harder for them but end zone now uh boxy don't particularly have to deco here i mean i think they were if i'm going to guess their money it was maybe just not enough for ak's like 2200 or something like that or maybe it wasn't enough for ak's and armor they've been planning consistently so they would have had good money boxy now making their way Around the corner, up jungle, teammate dies, booms, uh, pads, change position, Dave getting himself another one. Pads with his deagle, no he's not going to go around the back, in fact Pads is probably going to get shot in the back at this rate. Yes he does. <laughs> Godzilla takes him down. So uh, Boomza and teammate, last two left alive, they do have the bomb though, Trace running inside with the deagle, gets a big easy kill. Nice kill for him, get the bomb down Trace, get the bomb down so you can hopefully win the next round. Picks up the orb, trying to catch a rotating, misses a shot that he should have got. Lazy, getting himself a nice frag. Will he get a double takedown? Oh, Godzilla gets it. Takes his glory. Godzilla from the flower bed, taking it down. 4-7 is the score. 15-11. As it has been for a couple rounds now, any single round from here, Voxy will win it. Voxy will win the game with one round. End zone. They're going to need to uh, do what they can to get themselves the next four consecutive rounds to take it to overtime. That's what they need to do. It's a much bigger ass. Voxy can... Frankly, they can play pretty haphazardly, a little bit randomly, and uh, very aggressively. And it looks like they're going to go... Yep, they're going straight out the mid-wall right now. Dave uh, throwing flashes to slow down the ones coming towards him from the CT Archer, the jungle angle. Case drive taken down one, traded back by Lazy. Lazy gets taken down by Pads. Dave takes a one in the corner of the jungle, takes him down as well. Case drive in the um, circular area in the big pit. Flash over the wall right now as well. Dave takes down Dimo Jr. Case drive in the pit, 42 HP. Teammates right next to him, all three of them working their way towards side now right now. K-Strike got a... Pads getting himself a nice kill, taking down Dave. K-Strike throws the bomb off for a teammate to go and plant it for him. Trace is going to do that. K-Strike watching a long angle for the players who rotate around that angle from the uh, library jungle side. Does a spray, Godzilla takes him down. Sight in the sight right now. With the help of Pads, last two left alive. Two Queensland boys trying to take down Godzilla and Dave. Sorry, Godzilla and Trips. So Pads takes down one, last one left alive. And Trace wins it. Trace finishes the round. Sight takes him down. 16-11 is the score. Vox Eminor... Takes down Endzone in what was a pretty fantastic game. Uh, I must say, when it goes tit for tat, it's actually pretty awesome. I, I personally like that. Um, uh, we see the people having more and more gun rounds. There was a little bit of economic play going into it. And that was because we're seeing heaps of kills each round. Almost every round in that game was like three, three on two, uh, a one on two, two on two type situation. It was actually pretty tight all the way through. Um, second half was a horrible start for Endzone. I'm going to say, you know, I'm not, not going to blame Lazy. I did like to... Uh, you know, give him a bit, a bit of crap, but uh, he fired up, fired up, got himself some kills. Um, yeah, end zone, great first half. Uh, CT's 8-7 in that first half. Yeah, pretty normal, pretty normal. Your CT needs a lot of work. Actually, I think a huge amount of work. You saw on your the end zone T side, uh, we saw a lot of structure play. Godzilla knew what he was doing every round. It wasn't quite perfect uh, with the coordination with the teammates, with the sprays. The pads was able to uh, avoid that completely and take him down. There's a weakness I saw in that. Uh, but... Ultimately, both first half of both teams is pretty good. Uh, Voxy, uh, they had a lot of set plays. They didn't do the same thing twice, which is a big deal, of course, because if you just start doing things repetitively, Voxy are going to pick up on it, uh, which is what they did to uh, Endzone. They did sort of figure out what was going on with the noises they heard in that second mid, especially that haystack. Uh, they played that pretty well. Ultimately, Voxy clearly the better team, only because of Endzone CT. If Endzone CT was anything like their T, that would have been... I think Ensign probably would have won it, actually. That's how it is. Uh, Pads and Sire playing pretty well. Player of the match. 
player of the match. Hard one to choose. Boonza was playing pretty uh, passively, but still in a commanding position. He was doing some pretty important frags at the banana bomb side, locking it down pretty well. He's playing pretty good on their CT side, actually. Uh, overall, I would actually say Sai. He was alias as Trace in that game. Sai probably man of the match. Tripster played pretty well as well. He was online, so Tripster was great. Uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much what I think of that. Uh, a couple things I want to get some feedback from you guys. Now the game is over 16-11. Archaic uh, uh, box m and R over end zone. Dot Lappy King. Uh, a couple things I want, uh, if you guys post in comments or you post it up on CG, wherever you want to post it. Let me know about things you want to do with the, G or the GUI in uh, the HUD, sorry, in uh, Counter-Strike Source. Let me know what you want to do in Counter-Strike 1.6 as well. Toby's still doing Dota stuff. There's a potential Toby may be, be able to improve stuff in that. Let us know. Let him know. There may be something he can do. Uh, I have been messing with a few, few GUIs of my own for uh, Counter-Strike. I'll just chuck one up on the screen for you. I've just been toying with this one. It's very similar. It's based off the ESL GUI. Um, it's, I, I chose the ESL GUI because it's actually pretty awesome. It's well designed. Um, I did change a lot of things for the spectator. I changed a lot of things in the main menus and stuff like that because they did play a lot of different rules to Australia, which is going to be fixed shortly. Um, if there's anything at all that you want us to change, anything you want us to tweak, let me know personally. Craig at cybergamer.com.au. Uh, anything for CGTV, send it to that email. Uh, I'll change it up. Try and, you know, we, we just want to make this stuff better. We want to make it better for you guys. Uh, first suggestion we got was from Dark CS and a couple other guys. Make the encode a little bit higher. Hopefully this one for you on YouTube was considerably better quality. I uh, have been encoding it at like two and a half uh, megabit, so I'll do this one at, you know, whatever, a little bit higher. Uh, file size won't change that much for you guys on YouTube. It's more about the encode. And uh, that's pretty much it from me. Vox Eminor over Endzone 1611 in the Western Digital sponsored CGI division of Counter-Strike Source. Division 1, $7,500 off grabs. Thank you very much for Western Digital. This is Pandan, signing out.